Okay, uh, I would like to uh, go over a couple questions on worksheet two. Uh, now, I would like to go through the first two questions together because they are very similar. And I want to also repeat a few things before we officially start. Uh, when we do all these uh, questions, like I said, uh, you have to see two steps ahead of time in order for you to know what is uh, what the next step is. And your second step is your justification of your first step. Now, for these two, uh, you would take a glance, take a quick glance at these two questions, and we will ask a question, what do you see right away like what kind of stimulus do you see from these two expressions now we will go ahead and think about hmm well we have uh, we have uh, tangent square and we also have sine square okay we have these things tangent square and sine square uh, meanwhile uh, you should also know all of your pythagorean identities okay and uh, for time's sake i'm not gonna write those out uh, you should have it with you on your notes so now uh, i'm going to go through the thought process here now there are many things you can think of you can think about well can i just go ahead and change tangent squared to say secant squared minus one i mean it's possible okay uh, you can ask the question of can i just go ahead and uh, factor uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, change the sine square x to one minus cosine x well that's also possible so what you can see here is that there are lots of different possibilities you may even ask can i just change the tangent square x to uh, sine square x over cosine square x that's also possible so that's why you have to think two steps ahead and at this moment we will refrain from writing anything down because if we do write anything down then we may get stuck very easily so what we want to do is to think about what is the what the next step is and the next step could actually help us out now to make things even more explicit i'm going to say this out too uh, what makes this uh, topic somewhat challenging for some students is that um, you actually have to uh, think about all the, uh, the old algebra skills. And for one, factoring. And you have to look at this expression right here and you think of all the possible moves. And we always start from the easiest. Okay, now, I mean, you can change all those uh, squares to something else, but let's start from the easiest. Well, the easiest is that I hope that you see the tangent square x twice. And if you do, then you can think about tangent square x being factored out. And now, this should happen. This particular step, the one that I just wrote down, it should happen in your mental math. And because you see something like this and you also see that this is something else what is this this is well one minus sine squared x that it's equal to cosine squared x okay and if you know that is equal to cosine squared x then we're like oh yeah we can change something we can change it to something that's meaningful and simpler now, and then, the, 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 the question that we always ask is that, well, are we done? Are we done yet? Well, then we got to think about, hmm, is there anything else uh, we can uh, simplify? Is there anything else we can cancel? Uh, is there any way we can, is there anything we can do so that we can write fewer strokes at the end? And we say, well, if you can imagine what tangent square is, a tangent square x is, well, that's equal to sine square x over cosine square x. And then you have cosine squared x being multiplied, and then now you can see how the cosine squared x are cancelled out. So at the very end, our answer is simply sine squared x. Okay, so we can actually reduce it to just sine squared x. Okay, simple. But you can only see the simplicity of this if you are able to handle the mental math, if you can handle the thinking of possibilities. Now for number two, it's very similar. 
will say, well, take out the sine square x because uh, if you take out the sine square x, I hope you see something. I hope you see the parentheses, okay, secant square x minus 1. And that is equal to tangent square x. So if you cannot see secant square x minus 1, it's equal to tangent square x. Then you know your weakness. Your weakness is uh, your weakness. It's probably the uh, uh, you're not being fluent with all those identities, and you need to work harder on it. And now we say, well, is there anything else we can do? Is there anything else we can do? I mean, we could possibly change tangent square x to uh, sine x, uh, sine square x over cosine square x, but that doesn't help us cancel out anything. So we'll say, well, if that's the case, well, this is it. This is our end product. So we keep asking the question, is it the simplest? Is it the simplest? Can we cancel things out? If the answer is no, then we just say, all right, we can just leave it there. And that's probably the hardest part, is that you not knowing where to end. So you have to keep exploring the possibilities. Okay?